Hello everyone. Today we will see uh, the second experiment on uh, LPC2148 microcontroller. The first experiment uh, I have already shared. You can able to see the flashing LED LPC2148. Uh, hope you completed these five experiments on PIC microcontroller. Uh, for uh, second part that is for LPC2148 you need uh, this uh, you need to download this MDK412 actually it is Keel Microvision 4 version this is sufficient and a program is also there for the first experiment I have given the program so once you download and install it will be very simple the platform that is Keel Microvision IDE does look something like this and uh, let's go ahead and start this first you have to go to project new microvision project I am going to store this in uh, videos and write up I'll make a new folder uh, say kill uh, lpc2148 demo something like this And all I am going to, all next 5 experiment, I am going to store it here. So, I am doing the second experiment that is tone generation, which is very similar to <coughs> the first experiment. Okay. Low fun. And I will give the project name. Tone gen. Here you have to go to NXP funded by Philips. Search for LPC2148. You can see the features here. <coughs> Since you are writing C code, you say yes. As soon as you say yes, uh, the startup.s file will come here. If you say no, this will not come. You have to add it manually. And then uh, we have to write the program. I have a program already. So I am going to paste it here. The same program has been given to you already. You can pause for a moment and you can uh, type the program. Uh, the comments must be ignored. I will write save as. I will give name tone.c. Extension must be .c. Then and there only we will get the colors in the text. So this is the program. If you wish, uh, you can copy, uh, don't copy the comments, you copy only these main program. The program has been explained already, so you can pause for a moment and you can copy this program. So we have two delay programs here and initialization of the port. I am using fifth one, uh, you can go for the fourth one, uh, 0.4, we have uh, a LED connected there, you can make use of that, you can go for 0.5 as well if you wish, and according to that you have to look there, and uh, hope you got the program. This is the main program and these are the delay programs. Delay programs are slight different. You can increase or decrease the delay. But make sure that uh, by increasing and decreasing delay there, uh, the program, uh, a slight modification required in uh, Proteus environment that I am going to explain you. So let it be as it is. Uh, we do not have any problem. <coughs> and then we go and uh, add this project ok I have added and you need to do uh, two simple modifications there uh, 
this is uh, option for target one you can get it from uh, here option for target one go to project option for target one or you simply say uh, there is a shortcut here target options and here in the output you say create hex file and in the linker you uh, check up this box use memory layout from the target dialog uh, then and there only your uh, code will work on the particular kit that we are using and once you do these two then uh, go ahead and build all or you go to project and build okay anyone is going to be okay so i do not have any uh, errors and warnings at this point you could able to see and i want to debug it i have to go for debugger <coughs> and i want to see uh, the concept behind tone generation i have already explained in the classroom if you have uh, uh, forgot what is the concept behind it you just uh, go ahead and uh, see the recorded lectures that i have shared on the moodle as well as on the google classroom now we'll see uh, the and uh, i have to look uh, that waveforms of the tone here in the logic analyzer you can get it from here this uh, logic analyzer here or you can get it from the shortcut that i that we have here and you have to do the setup and you have to add code 0.4 and you say it has bit it is going to be okay and simply you have to run you could able to see <coughs> the different frequencies see so you can see the frequency here change in the frequency so this is one frequency and this is another one and uh, one more is there you can observe here uh, seems you got it here so these are the three different frequencies that we generated and uh, this is all about uh, debugging here but if you would like to hear the same thing uh, and uh, do it on uh, proteus which is quite uh, easy uh, we'll go to proteus go to part we do not have lpc 2148 so we'll go for lpc 2138 which is the nearest family that we have we'll take it up as it is and uh, i already told you in the first experiment we need to connect the supplies all vss to vss point and all uh, other supplies to plus vcc so i have connected the uh, ground <coughs> i need to take a uh, power and i'll connect it here somewhere we reference uh, it is for uh, adc v batteries for cmos and i have to change it say plus 3.3 volt this is sufficient for lpc 2148 also i need to connect this to reset because it is reset power else or else it will always be in the reset mode so you can connect crystal and all but however uh, it is still going to be okay if you do not connect i am going to search for p0.4 p0.4 here and i would like to connect it to <coughs> oscilloscope 
here and I can able to see the waveforms here it's quite easy and I have to load it and uh, browse your hex file browse your hex file go to pro your project directory say ok and if you run it you should able to get uh, these waveforms uh, you can see here a different frequency it is automatically changing you could able to observe ok so now the same thing I wanted to hear because tone generation means you would like to hear the tone we have several other options and we will take up uh, and work it out on some options that we have We'll take a NPN transistor for driving the buzzer or the speaker. Okay. And I'm going to give it to this. I can take a buzzer. Uh, or you can take a speaker even can take speaker anyone at this point is going to be okay because we are not doing anything specific okay so I took this two first uh, let me take a uh, buzzer and show you uh, I, we need to connect uh, uh, the resistors and all for simplicity I am not connecting just remember that uh, you should not do like this. We need resistors here to limit the current and uh, I'll take up voltage. And I need to connect it here. So, possibly this is plus 12 volt, so I need to give 12 volt here plus 12 volt. Say OK connect the ground okay something like this because microcontroller cannot drive this 12 volt buzzer so you need to have a transistor to drive that and uh, let's see what we can hear if you run uh, this is uh, not a good uh, waveform or noise is because of high frequency you may not be able to see it you may not be able to observe so what we do will uh, increase the uh, delay here or simply we reduce the frequency here say for example instead of 10 mega if you make it 1 mega you may be able to hear the audio <laughs> This is not uh, actually what you are going to hear in the uh, uh, lab. It is uh, in the lab you are going to hear a very uh, uh, beautiful tone. We need to adjust the frequencies and all here. So uh, instead of this, even we can uh, increase the delay and uh, we can check it out what is the change. In the The tone is quite uh, different. Uh, let's go back and see the effect of speaker. Instead of this, we can go for speaker, which is also quite a uh, good one. shortest of space here so 
this is not expect uh, expected as expected because we are uh, facing some issues with the delay and frequency of these things this will be uh, okay if you can able to work it out uh, you know different frequencies of this definitely going to work because you reduce it, let's see what is the effect. So this is the effect of uh, uh, variation in the delay. All these things are possible. You can able to do uh, various other things. At this point, I think this is sufficient for you. Hope you are going to enjoy this experience.